DC McCarty. And I'm back with another video. Looks like this might be bothering you. Hold on. What is that? I don't know, but whatever. So guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm reading the indivo indescribable 100 devotions about God and science. So let's get to it. Let's remember what page we're on. I have not read this book in forever. We're on, we're on page eight. It's called A Tool for God. And here it is. Here's the verse. Uh, encourage one another and build each other up. 1 Ephesians 5.11 Okay. Scientists have long... Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, this video is gonna pause it. Scientists have long known for some animals use tools to help them get what they need. But they... But they have only recently discovered the most unusual way. One animal builds its house, and they found this animal scurrying across the sand in, on the ocean floor. Let's see. The veined octopus builds its home using coconut shells, shell halves that people have thrown into the ocean, sacking one on top of each other. It crawls between the two halves, per the perfect underwater armor for the soft-bodied octopus. That's awesome. So, the veined octopus finds, well, it finds coconut sh like halves, shells, like that people have thrown into the ocean, and he collects them, I, th I think, well, and he lives under them. Here, if you don't understand what I'm probably saying, I probably wouldn't understand if I were you. So look, down there, that's that little veined octopus. He's just hiding in his little coconut. And then there's a scuba diver. Ugh. Where was I? Okay. When the octopus needs to travel, it simply stacks the shell halves under its body. Cool. Much like stacking two bowls, then it then stilt, stilt walks on its eight legs, dragging the shells with it. That's cool. This is one smart animal. Probably protects it from like sharks and stuff that try to eat it. Maybe, I don't know, other animals too. Not just sharks, but I bet Sharks do try to eat it sometimes, but um, on its eight legs, dragging the shells with it. Scientists have even spotted veined octopus digging, digging buried coconut shells out of the sand and squirting them with jet of water to clean them before moving in. Wow. God gave some animals the ability to use tools, but did you know that he made you to be a tool? God wants you to be his tool in building up others and leading him, them to him. How much packages have we got today? There's already three, and there's another one. But there might be the other one. From... I just opened them. Leading them to him. How can you do that? He tells you in his word. Go and make followers of all people in, in the world. Baptize them in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything that I have told you. Matthew 28, 19, 20. What's an amazing thought that God uses you to build his kingdom and help uh, others know him. Okay, well that is done.
the big reading part. And now here's the prayer. Feel free to pray this when, at night or day, whenever you want. Lord, I want to be a tool. I want to be a tool in building your kingdom. Help me live a life that tells the world about you. That's the prayer. Now, here's my favorite part. It's called "Be Amazed." The veined octopus. The veined octopus is just one of several animals that use tool that uses tools. There's a group of bottlenose dolphins in Shark Bay, Australia. I like that name. Shark Bay, that's awesome. For a shark like you, you're not even a shark. Australia, that carries sea sponges in their beaks to stir up the ocean sand and to uncover their prey. Also, sea otters use stones to hammer as hammers to crack open abandoned shells to get the food inside. Well, there's that page for today. A tool for God. And the next page for maybe soon, I might do it tomorrow, is No Bones About It. No Bones About It. So, that's actually pretty cool how some animals use tools but that's actually pretty amazing and how the how the dolphin the dolphins use the sponges to clear the um, ocean so they can spot the prey and that the otters use stones as hammers to open shells to get the food inside and the, the most one that we learned about was veined octopus and that was the one that uses the um coconut shells to to hide and live in it so there you go guys that is today's devotional i hope you enjoyed it leave a comment if you are ready to watch the next video that we're gonna do it's probably the the no bones about it in this check out the other bit my previous video it is probably that i that people wanting me to do my friends the cool kids are also youtube channel check their channel out and hope to subscribe because they need some more subscribers they just joined youtube as a channel and so they wanted me to do the lemon challenge and i just did it yesterday so Please subscribe for my channel, leave a like to this video, I hope you like it, and leave a comment below if you are ready to, for me to read No Bones About It tomorrow or the next day. I hope you like this video guys, see you the next time, goodbye.